Boy, when I see a play like that, I, I think of the name Ed Armbrister yep. in 1975 World Series. Very astute comment right there. Ed Armbrister's famous name. It's called an Armbrister Tangle Untangled based on an event that occurred during that World Series. Rule 601A10 comment states that when a catcher and a batter runner go into first base have contact when the catcher is fielding the ball, there's generally no violation and nothing should be called. I have more explanation that we did a few years ago. It still applies today. The point is, as long as the batter is making some attempt to go to first base, that contact is incidental, even though the catcher is the protected fielder. If the batter's making no attempt whatsoever, you could have interference. But as long as he's making some sort of an attempt to advance, he's okay. That is incidental contact. Armbrister Tangle Untangle. This is called an Armbrister Tangle Untangled, named so for Reds batter Ed Armbrister, who briefly became entangled with Red Sox catcher Carlton Fisk in Game 3 of the 1975 World Series when plate umpire Larry Barnett no-called the collision because both players were actively pursuing their respective goals, creating an incidence of incidental contact. Official Baseball Rule 601A10 comment states that when a catcher and batter going to first base have contact, when the catcher is attempting to field the ball, there is generally no violation and nothing should be called. Obstruction by a fielder attempting to field a ball should only be called in very flagrant and violent cases because the rules give him the right of way. The NC2A equivalent is 711F exception 4 with a standard of either player attempting to alter the play, while high school has no explicit rule and must settle for an interpretation. Going back to our play, this is nothing because the contact occurs while the batter is running to first base, while the catcher is attempting to field the ball. Because they're both attempting to make legitimate baseball plays, this is an armbrister tangle on tangle. Home plate umpire Jeff Nelson properly signals safe. That's nothing. I just want to point out the batter's box has zero bearing on this play. Once a batter becomes a runner or a batter runner, the batter runner leaves the batter's box. That's how baseball works. The rule is 601A10 comment. Jeff Nelson gets this absolutely right. When a catcher and batter runner go into first base, have contact where the catcher is fielding batters running. It's incidental. Generally, nothing is called. Safe call by Nelson. That is absolutely the correct call. We'll have more analysis of all plays throughout the postseason and beyond here at CloseCallSports.com.